Welcome, welcome to Celebrate Aging. Here we are on the Ecumen Detroit Lakes campus. Actually, we're in Emmanuel Chapel, Emmanuel's Chapel. That's what I was going to try to say. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm just getting going, and I'm wearing pink today because we're trying to get spring going. It's it's a hard spring to get going. Do you agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. So I'm with my very good friend here, Barb Schiller, and Barb is he wears a couple of different hats here on the Ecumen campus. Why don't you tell us a little about what exactly do you do? I don't see a crown or <laughs> or anything like that, but you could have one. I'm the social worker yes. for some of our long-term residents. Okay. I also run the adult day service program, and I'm the volunteer coordinator. And that's what we're going to talk about today, being a volunteer. And we're having a very special event here on our Ecumen campus. It's the Volunteer Appreciation Banquet coming up in May. Because April, we appreciate our volunteers. Definitely. And April is Volunteer Appreciation Month. And usually we have our banquet in, or our appreciation, it's not really a banquet, it's a luncheon. We usually have that in April, but we decided to wait until May this year so we can have our snowbirds attend. Yes. So that's going to be May 16th. May 16th. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. In the Aspen Room. Okay. And we definitely want to give an invitation to all of our volunteers. We try to send out invitations through the mail, but I know that sometimes people get missed. And we hate that. Yeah, we hate that. So if you are a volunteer and you don't get an invitation in the mail, please know that you are invited. We want you to come. And we have lots of fun lined up this yes, time. Yes, we do. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. I want to do one thing more about volunteers, just to make sure. Sometimes we think, well, I, I will only come and help once oh. a year. That's okay. Maybe like at an okay. event, like Christmas at Emmanuel, yeah. or I just help for, that's okay. You're still you're a volunteer. You're still a volunteer, and we want you to come. So if you don't get an invitation in the mail, you're still invited, and it, it, let's just say the date one more time. May 16th. May 16th. It's a Thursday, mm -hmm. and it's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So you got that written down? May 16th, 2 o'clock, here at Emmanuel in our Forest Conference Center. And now we're going to talk about the program because we got something really wonderful planned. Okay, so we have Larry Swenson is coming to speak to us. He's a motivational speaker. He's funny. He's musical. Very. And we just heard that you might get wet. So I'm not <laughs> sure what that all means, but... Uh... It's a little tease out there. If you've ever had an opportunity to go out to Fair Hills Resort, especially on a Tuesday night when they have hoot nanny and if you've never been there you must go but he is the leader of the hoot nanny he he his job in the summertime is the music and the entertainment out at fair hills resort we are so blessed to have him this close he is actually internationally known he has got a corporation he is a, a business where he does uh, motivational speaking he does culture diversity building uh, it's wonderful. He is a, a great humorist. He grew up in Lake Park. That's great. That's wonderful. <laughs> and so when he comes, you can be assured that he is full of energy and fun, and he is here to encourage us and support us in the mission here at Emmanuel, which includes volunteers. We could Absolutely. not give the care that we do without our volunteers. We are so thankful for them, and that's why we have an appreciation. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate them. We do. And mm -hmm. all year long. But this one time a year, May 16th, we want you gathered together in the Aspen Room, and we want to say thank you in a, in a wonderful way. Yep. It's our turn to serve you on that day, that yeah. one day. It seems so small for everything that you guys do for us, but we want to make it really special. We want to have a great program. We always have great food, lots of fun, some gifts to give away, and yeah, it'll be good. Now, as the volunteer coordinator, you kind of keep track of ours because mm -hmm. it's important when we do apply for grants or different things, they look at that. The grant people say, okay, is this a worthy place? And we can say, oh, yeah, and people consider it worthy. Look at all our volunteer hours we have. Mm -hmm. how, does, how many volunteer hours do we have around here? We, well, now this last quarter, which would be January, February, March, we just added up our volunteer hours. We had 900 volunteer hours in this last quarter alone. Whoa. So that's 300 volunteer hours per month. And I know for a fact 
There's a lot of people that come and volunteer that don't write down their hours. And you can so. just count the ones that are written down, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so we have 300 hours. That's, now, now see, now we have to think about doing math. And I don't know if I can do that, but that's a lot of days. That's so. a lot of days, that's a lot of time. A mm -hmm. lot of time. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And then again, that says something about Emmanuel and is useful for writing grants and for mm -hmm. letting people know. Exactly. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we have about 160 volunteers. We have the auxiliary, community caregivers, we have helping hands, and the senior companion program. Wow. So. That's a lot. Yeah. So now if somebody is uh, thinking about volunteering, they would come and talk to you. What's mm -hmm. the process? Yep, they would give me a call and then I have them come in and meet them. We do a background check. They'll fill out an application. And we do that for everyone. Everybody. That, that's yep. like a state requirement. Yep. yep. And then we talk about what do they want to do. Some people want to come in once a week from, you know, 10 till 2. Some people want to come in randomly. Um, some people are here all day long. And it just, it's varied. We, whatever works for you will work for us. Like you said, some people come just at Christmas time to mm -hmm. help make krum kaka. Um, yes. <laughs> any, anything that you can help with is much appreciated. Yes. And a wide range in every department. I know my mm -hmm. husband who is just recently retired from his job came in to formally, I've yeah. volunteered him several times, <laughs> just kind of informally. But now formally yeah. he filled out the paperwork and you did the background check on him, and uh, mm -hmm. he's not a felon. Came out okay. Sounds good, yeah. And he is coming in as he can, too. And he, and he said, I'm not sure how I can help, and maybe summer will be different than winter. So he's excited to help the maintenance department. Mm -hmm. And some people want to help with the dietary, like you say, come and bake cookies, or, or mm -hmm. uh, I know they've been rolling out lefsa and different yeah. things like that. And uh, some people want to help out with activities. Mm -hmm. Special events. Some people come and do uh, escort oh, our yes. residents to the doctor or sometimes bring them out to Walmart shopping. Mm -hmm. They'll go on Becker County Transit mm -hmm. or Medivan or mm -hmm. whatever. Now, do you do, do, as a volunteer coordinator, do you just work within the nursing home or do you help also with like the lamplighter or the Madison? Do you do that as well? I help with Lamplighter and the Madison and the Cottage. Okay. We try and kind of get them set up on their own program, but I'm the coordinator for that them the paperwork also. and gets that started. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Barb Schiller is the go-to girl here at the Ecumen Campus for volunteers. And again, we are inviting you in May. I, we know volunteer month is in April, but we're waiting for more of our snowbirds who are pretty smart not to come back quite yet anyway. Definitely. So May 16th, it's a Thursday. It's going to be in the Forest Conference Center at 2 in the afternoon, and we're having a program. Larry Swenson is our speaker, and he is very well known in this area for his humor and his motivation and his uh, music. So we're really going to be, be it's, it's going to it's going to be a gift to us. Every time well. we have one of these, I think it's better than the last time. But <laughs> this one is definitely so going to be over the top. So we don't want you to miss. We want to make sure you get here. And if you don't get an invitation in the mail, you're still invited. We hate it when we yeah. miss, but sometimes that happens. It's and if you don't get is. an invitation in the mail, be sure to call me because maybe I just don't have you on my list yep. or. Yeah. Want to keep sure. that list updated. And sometimes yeah. people move, too, yeah. Yeah. or whatever. So we want, want to stay in touch. We want you to know that we have volunteer opportunities here at Emmanuel, here on the Ecumen Detroit Lakes campus, and that Barb Schiller is the person to talk to, and we want to get that organized. We're getting organized. Yeah. <laughs> May 16th. <laughs> May 16th. Circle that on your calendar. Here at the Ecumen Detroit Lakes campus, we're wishing you the best. And to our volunteers, thank you. We love you.